I know, and he's slightly oversold the whole fastest deliveries angle, but it's got real potential with you on board as a partner. You up for this? You wait until Billy hears about this. He'll actually be able to deliver things quickly now. Right, here's a scoop. Express Delivery is the quickest and slickest delivery service going around, and Billy Stokes can get anything, anytime, anywhere in the UK. But what I can't do is build a website. So, I got my mate Alfie to do it, and he's gone and put a special instructions box under the delivery address. Now, these Horizon people are writing all sorts of stuff in there. So what I need is a Horizon driver. We'll start you off simple. Be careful with the van, yeah? She's precious to me. 100 yards. Turn left. the first test you can get from A to B. As soon as I can figure the next delivery, I'll give you a call. Hello again. Now, remember I told you about this whole special instructions palaver? Well, we've got a special set of instructions on this next one. Listen to this. Keep well ventilated, handle with extreme care, and don't worry if it quacks a bit. I'm gonna check our live animal policy. You just watch how you go. Hello? Yeah, it's Billy from Express Delivery. So this package of yours? Oh yeah, we'll take best care of it, but there's not actual ducks in there, is there? Where'd you get a box of ducks from? In 100 yards, turn left. They're very rare and expensive Uzbekistani ducks on their way to an ornamental pond. But they get cranky easily, so don't bump them around. Duckies, just take it easy now. Another satisfied express delivery customer. 
They're happy, you're happy, and me? I'm as happy as a duck in water, mate. Where else would I be? Ever heard of Sir Strumming? It's a funny kind of Swedish fish. And my Swedish mate Niels can't get enough of the stuff. So you're gonna deliver him some. Not so much of a rush this time because it's already fermented, but you might want to take care not to hit anything. And if you do, Niels you might want to start breathing through your mouth. Now off you go. 100 yards, turn right. yards, turn left. I'm going to take a tin and have a taste for myself. Suppose I better see what all the fuss is about, hadn't I? Uh, uh. What is that? Why would anyone eat that? Search for why does anyone eat stink fish? I still have no idea. I did learn that you should open the cans underwater. That's a warning sign right there. There we go. Enjoy your strumming nils, old mate. No, really, enjoy every bit of it, because I don't ever want to see that weird fish again in my life. Right, so I've got good news and bad news. Bad news is my mate Neil's moved house and gave us the wrong address. So last time, we managed to deliver a big box of stinky fish to Mr and Mrs Arthur Didcot, who were understandably perplexed by the whole affair. But the good news is, Neil's new place ain't far away. So put your gas mask on, and let's get this over with. Just do it as quick as you can, yeah? Stick to the road or go cross-country, I'll leave it up to you. You're the one who has to smell it. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Recalculating route. Are strumming and into some nice British delicacies, you know? Things everyone can enjoy, like black pudding and jelly deals. All right. Didn't expect to see you back after the old smelly fish saga. Well, I'm glad you're here. You're an increasingly important part of my business plan. So, what have we got next in the special instructions box? Need help with delivery slash demolition job. 
What could possibly go wrong, eh? Hang on, I'll read the rest of the instructions. Local council requests help clearing roadway. Money, no obstacle. Obstacles, also no obstacle. Hmm. Obstacles, no obstacle. Now I wonder what that means. Look out! There's a whole bunch of obstacles in the road! Oh, now I get it. Well, you heard the customer. Smash them out of the way! In 100 yards, turn left. my friend. Oh, by the way, you might be pleased to know, through all that, you're actually delivering some council plans for rubbish collection. Everyone at Horizon UK wants a piece of express delivery, and Billy Stokes is just the man to give it to them. There's a big event going down at Bamborough Castle tonight, and we're delivering the drinks. They just want us to drop the stuff off, but this time I'm adding a few special instructions of my own. Call it drinks and a show. I'll explain when you get there. Off you go. If you get there quick, I might even let you stop in at the party, maybe smooth with the... Nah, just pulling your legs, someone has to stay with a van. In 100 yards, turn right. In 100 yards, turn left. I'm telling you, we pull this off, express delivery could expand into the entertainment business. Hire ourselves out for weddings and birthdays and that. You don't know how to sing or dance or do magic or anything, do
100 yards, turn right. Turn right. In 200 yards, turn left. Turn left. In 100 yards, turn right. I'll be honest, that van's not an ordinary van. My mate Alfie did a proper number on the suspension. Should run light as a feather on just about anything. Tar, dirt, grass, sand. So, just leave the stuff in the back, head down to the beach, and with all the Horizon punters watching, you're gonna mix them up a nice drink. Using nothing but your car. Taking orders then, ladies and gentlemen, what will it be? Shaken or stirred? when you get the chance. drinks and nibbles dropped off at the castle and then quietly make our exit. Don't worry, I reckon they're going to be talking about that one for a while. So I've been thinking expansion plans. Where we take express delivery next. And I'm thinking, got to spend money to make money, you know? So I've reinvested. New jackets, new website, new van. Ford Supersport van with a 5.8 litre V8 engine, to be precise. Ha ha ha! Yeah, thought you'd like that bit. And it comes just in time, because some cheeky blighters stuck those accelerometer things all over this next package. Checking up on us going fast enough. Let's show them we're not afraid of a few punchy stickers, eh? 200 yards, turn right. Turn right. OK, 
Come on, come on, sharpish. You got a step on it. Turn left. Definitely in the big leagues. Got an anonymous customer who wants a very small package transported very, very carefully. I don't even know what's in it. All I know is they want it fast, they want it discreet, and if we break it, we're on the hook for the cost, which is... You know what? Better if I don't tell you that part. Right. There's your route. Please, please, please watch out for traffic. 200 yards, turn right. Yards. Turn left. 
Side. You can buy half the village with this thing. Maybe it's a mean vase. Or an ancient manuscript. Nah, you can't really break one of those, can you? <coughs> Nearly there now, come on. What if it's a USB stick with secret government stuff on it? Blimey, I've worried myself now. In 200 yards, you will arrive at your destination. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Now get that thing out of my van and get out of there before you sneeze and drop it or something. No, I don't want to know what it is. Just get moving. There's my favourite delivery driver. Good to see ya. Got a courier job today. Pretty simple stuff. Customer's a German bloke by the name of Hans. You heard of him? Right, because it says here he works nearby doing insurance or something. Need some files collected and brought down to him. You know what to do. Special instructions say dangerous driving is encouraged for experimental purposes. What kind of insurance does his hand float? Do, anyhow.
yards. Turn left. Yards. Turn left. Turn left. Right. You park it and grab those files. I'll give the customer a call. Well, just had a chat with Hans Liebold. Turns out he doesn't sell insurance, he just investigates claims, tests whether they're dodgy. Which I wouldn't know a thing about, of course. Any rate, we've come to a little business arrangement. Hans is doing a survey on what he calls collision avoidance and driver stress response, which sounds to me like a good opportunity for some high-speed advertising. Know what I mean? Hands his way down at the festival. Off you go. In 100 yards, turn sharp left. Hands his way down at the festival. Off you go. In 100 yards. Turn sharp left. Turn right. Remember, the closer you get to traffic, the more they'll remember who express delivery are. In 100 yards, turn sharp left.
yards. Turn left. And I reckon I'm about to get a lot of excited calls about the way the ex No such thing as bad publicity, eh? <laughs> Blimey, good thing you're here. I'm up to me armpits in jobs. It must be your driving. Express delivery's never been busier. And we've got funny special instructions all over the place. Here. Have a look at this one. Deliver unidentified package to the Lakehurst Slate Quarry. Bring a crash helmet and a five-point harness. <laughs> Never ends, does it? Off you go. Oh, I also had the lads down at the auto show put a few extra horses under the hood of the super van. Because the special instructions said to, you know. Just follow the sat-nav. Everything will be ready down at the quarry. I mean, I'm guessing. At the roundabout, take the second exit. In 100 yards, turn right. Take the second exit. delivered to the middle of an empty quarry. Honestly, some people. Yards, turn left. In 400 yards, turn right. 
Stretch your legs for a bit. What on earth's going on with this customer, I ask ya? Right, got a confession to make. Might have told a bit of a fib about this job and this customer. There is no customer. Well, I mean, there is, but it's me. I just thought you could use a reward, you know? And after all you've done to help Express Delivery get off the ground, so to speak, I figured I could return the favour. Oh, and if there happens to be some cameras around and this stunt brings in some new business, well, that's just a win-win situation, isn't it? Drivers starting next week after seeing you land that jump, so you can have some time off for a bit. It's been a pleasure working with you, mate. I'll be sure to keep in touch. Well, this is it. You really are one of the most famous drivers here at Horizon. That star you've just earned next to your name means a lot around here. Keep at it, superstar. Okay. <clears throat> 
<clears throat> okay, guys, so here I am. Uh, I hope y'all enjoyed that walkthrough of the Horizon story. I know that there was no commentary, <clears throat> and I decided to do that just so, uh, just for the better of it, just so, you know, you could see the gameplay and everything. I didn't want to, like, be a distraction. So, anyways, we finally unlocked the McLaren Speedtail. So, next episode of Forza Horizon 4, this is the car we're going to be in. And, uh, yeah, guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed that walkthrough. And if my voice sounds different, it's because, uh, this is, like, it's, like, 7 a.m. and then it's, like, 7 30. So, yeah, and, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay video. And, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you're new here, hi, I'm Gimlin, Funky Z. I just like playing video games. And, yeah. And, guys, always remember, I appreciate you all support. We have, what, like, 1840-something subscribers? I'm not, I'm not doing my part of keeping track of how many subscribers I have, uh, I apologize for that, but yeah guys, 1840 subscribers, I never believed that there would be that many people following me, but yeah, okay, so, I hope y'all enjoyed this video, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.